This film is one that I was ridiculously looking forward to. It sounded amazing. It looked incredible. Unfortunately, the boy was not what I had hoped. There won't be any spoilers in this, so you can listen if you haven't seen the film. But if you just want to know whether or not I think you should see the film, I mean, I'd say watch it because a lot of people did like it and there are some good things about it. And if you, like me, write a lot of dark material, you might get some inspiration from it or you might realise how to do this better. So it's directed by William Brent Bell and written by Stacey Minear. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it has a 6 out of 10 rating on IMDb. Now, I don't do star ratings, but if I had to give it a star out of 5, I'd say 3. There are some interesting bits. And there's something that's revealed at one point that's quite shocking and intense and, and really impactful. But... For the most part, I thought the film was done very poorly. So the description from IMDb is as follows. An American nanny is shocked that her new English family's boy is actually a life-size doll. After she violates a list of strict rules, disturbing events make her believe that the doll is really alive. So basically this nanny is asked to look after this boy, but it turns out to be a doll. It, there are a lot of common tropes going in there. You have the American in the big, grand, English, stately home... Um, I don't know if it's a stately home, but it's a large home at any rate. And the porcelain-like doll with the white face and the you know the imposing eyes and the empty echoes of the house. And obviously these parents do give her strict rules to follow for this child, which is fine at first. And then she realises it's actually a doll and she doesn't want to waste her time following these rules that she thinks are stupid. Why would a doll need this level of attention? And obviously uh, she stops following these rules and things start to take a, a terrific turn. And as I said, it's... Um, now, Brahm is a character I love. I think the doll looks visually brilliant and Brahm's is very sweet to look at. He's not necessarily creepy, for the most part anyway. And Brahm's had so much potential and I think Brahm's could have been a staple in horror like Annabelle or Chucky. He could have been hailed as that that brilliant, but the film itself let it let itself completely down. Having said that, if there was a sequel, in fact, I think there might be a sequel coming out for this. I will have a look at that while I'm rambling on to you. Um, if there's a sequel, I will be seeing it because I do really like the character of the boy. And oh yes, there is. It's called Brahms, the boy too. And this is out now, maybe? It came out in 2020, which is this year. Um, I'm not sure if it's out or coming out, but there are 9,000 user reviews. So I'm going to assume it's out, and will I will, without question, look into that and review that. But it does have a 4.6 out of 10 um, rating. And just if you're interested, it, the description for that is, after a family moves into the Heelshire mansion, their young son soon makes friends with a lifelike doll called Brahms. Sounds brilliant. Looks fantastic from the poster. If one can judge by the poster, which I always do because I'm human. And I think it has potential. Again, I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to say it's bad before I've seen it. But the boy itself is such a letdown. And... But obviously not enough to make me not want to see the second film because Brahms as a character really gives this something. So watch it if you like horror, but I wouldn't say it's the best one. If you're trying to get into scary doll stories, this is probably a good place to start because it won't terrify you, but it, it will make you think. So this is probably a good place to start if you don't feel ready for Chucky or Annabelle. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. If you've seen the second one, Please do let me know if you uh, enjoyed it or not, but no spoilers, please. And if you haven't seen Boy, give it a go and, and you know, just cross your fingers that you like it.